the first day of testimony focused primarily on Lauren's death and the events immediately surrounding it. But today we heard more about David Treblecock and his state of mind. I pulled the knife out and stabbed Lauren in the chest. She winced and looked up at me. Investigator Chad Tangora read from the statement he took from David Treblecock after Lauren Belius's death, while the people who loved Lauren sobbed in the courtroom. Tangora testified that Treblecock repeatedly told him he wasn't mentally ill. Uh, he said he wasn't crazy, he wasn't uh, insane, he knew he was going to probably go to jail for the rest of his life. Darlene Humphrey, the nurse who was with Treblecock at St. Elizabeth Hospital, testified Treblecock appeared lucid and coherent while he answered her questions. I asked him, why Lauren? She has a twin pool. What, what did she do to you? And he just said that she was evil. And I said, but her sister wasn't. And he said he had not determined that yet. Qualification. The defense had the chance to call its first witness today, Nicole Marioni, a chief psychologist at the Central New York Psychiatric Center. Marioni testified she interviewed Treblecock and his family members, who revealed his sister and great-grandmother had a history of mental illness. She says the results of tests Treblecock took reveal he may suffer from schizophrenia, anxiety, and paranoia. He has unusual thoughts and experiences um, that he ruminates. Testimony for this case is expected to wrap up by Friday. Then it's up to the judge to make his decision. Reporting from the Oneida County Courthouse, I'm Jessica Kane.